Hello, my beautiful Aries friends. We are here for a love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. Let's get started with this reading, Aries. All right, so let's see. In the recent past, what do we have? Three of Swords, heartbreak, feeling a separation from someone, feeling jealous, feeling sad. Um, Page of Pentacles energy. So Three of Swords is always Libra energy. Page of Pentacles is you do have a plan. You are a person with a plan in your life. The Hanged Man means that you have not taken action on a plan that you is going to move you towards a better future. Now, in the present energy, we see the, the Fool card. A brand new beginning in a love relationship or a new love, okay? So right now you're feeling very, very, um, I think, hurt, getting over it, working on yourself. But look at this. Oh, my God. Aries, Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups, happily ever after. A new beginning with a happily ever after relationship. The King of Cups, Scorpio energy, Ten of Cups is Pisces, and the Fool card is Aquarius and or Aries, however it resonates. But you are in this energy A Pisces is playing a very strong role in your life at this time, Aries. All right, what do we see for the future? All right, let's see. Okay, the future, Two of Wands. Well, you're at a crossroads and you really know it's time to make a decision. Even if you don't outwardly show the decision, it shows that you know, you're know you kind of looking at the moon, you're thinking about things, you're contemplating, and you know, you're really feeling quite okay if you close out a cycle with someone. It's not going to be devastating to you. We see you being very sort of a wish upon a star. You want to make the right choice. The Seven of Cups is always about making the choice that's right. And there's typically one choice in particular. And look at this Nine of Wands. You have fire in your belly. Sagittarius energy. So that's very, you're very at home with this. Let's look and see what the Moonology deck is saying about this reading before we get into the clarifiers. But you are in a really beautiful space. I love this. This is great, great news for you right now, Aries. So let's see what the overall energy is from Moonology. Step out of your comfort zone. Okay. So that's reasonable, right? That's what we do when we want to change our lives is we start to think differently. We start to do things differently. So we don't have the same story going over and over like a bad movie rerun. All right. So why do we have the Three of Swords in the past? What happened to our Aries friends in the past? What was going on with Aries? We have the Five of Coins. Okay. So you really felt left out in the cold by someone. It was a third party situation. And it looks as though you feel like somebody just sort of like dumped you on your head, you know, dropped you upside down into the world and you didn't expect it. There was no reason for you to think that it should happen. The Page of Pentacles, there may have been, they may have been a child in the arena of this relationship with whom you were attached. That's like when you're dating somebody and you really, really love their kids and that sort of energy or your own kids. But we see that the Page of Pentacles for the purpose of the reading in the past is you just making a decision that you're going to, like a child, start something new, fresh, that you're going to approach life very differently. Nine of Pentacles. You are leveling up. You are single and ready to mingle in the past. The Nine of Coins is a beautiful lady, dressed beautifully, typically, in the picture. Um, this is a crow's tarot, but the Nine of Pentacles, it always makes way for manifestation for the Ten. The Death card, you are tired of waiting around. You are going to put an end to inaction. This crow is sitting here going, you know what? I'm taking off. I am out of here. I am not going to hang in this energy of sadness, you know, trying to think about the future. So I really, this is great. So let's see now. We're going to clarify a couple of things here. Temperance card. There we go. There's a reconciliation. 
a new beginning with somebody from the past. Now, for those of you that don't want a reconciliation from the past, it's okay. What this temperance card also means is that you're very grounded, you're very stable, you know how to nurture a relationship, you're attracting someone who knows how to have a relationship. Now, the uh, the full card always comes with a little bit of risk, right? Because we see, you know, pay attention to the details, Aries. When you meet somebody, I want you to look beneath the surface. There are two cards. Well, there are three. All these, all these cards say, look deeper. Because we see the full card and she's watching this flower. And she's only looking at the tail of what looks like a, a drag, a, you know, Komodo dragon or a, an alligator. So she's not paying attention to the details. The Ten of Cups also, the love is beneath water. So you may be attracting, like I said, a Pisces or a water sign. And then even when we see the Scorpio King here, you know, he seems really calm on the surface, but we see this sort of shark going. So this person, the person you're going to meet or have a new beginning with is going to be someone who's pretty calm on the surface, who uh, handles their emotions pretty well, even the negative ones. It really speaks to the fact that the two of you will have so much growth, that there's so much going on beneath the surface, but to the world you also appear very, very happy, Aries, beautiful. We get the Four of Cups energy. There's a part of you that does not believe in this, okay? The hand of God is reaching out to give you this cup and to move maybe a friendship of three of cups energy into, you know, something more. And you're not quite ready to take it. What I'm seeing here is that, yes, you want that cup, but you can see that crow contemplating. Do I want the cup? Do I not want the cup? So the Eight of Swords says that right now, you are not going to jump into anything quickly. You want someone to show you what they're about you're going to let them take the lead and the moon card reversed also as a clarifier means that you really know what you want you have no doubt you have no worry that's pisces energy again but the moon reversed is one of my favorite cards because it speaks to the fact that it's all out in the open now everything is out in the open there are no more hidden energies so what else about the ten of cups energy the queen of swords with the Four of Cups, you are not going to accept anything less than that Ten of Cups. Beautiful, balanced energy. Again, with temperance energy. Very powerful, balancing, leveling up, taking care of yourself, knowing what you want, getting out of your head, you know, not taking action until you have clarity, Aries. Really smart. So what do we have here for the Eight of Swords with the King of Cups? The Ace of Swords. Well, you have clarity. You know who you want. You know what you want. You know the circumstances. You're waiting for it to happen. Um, it, energetically, it is happening because these have already manifested. So why is the Two of Wands here? What is your future holding in store for you? Oh my God, the Ten of Cups happily ever after. The Ten of Cups happily ever after. You're at a crossroads in which you're going to make a decision about pure happiness and joy. Oh, look at, look at this King of Wands energy just came out. Fiery energy, the infinity symbol, the Ten of Cups happily ever after, the rainbow. What we're seeing here is that you are going to, with the Seven of Cups energy, you are going to make the one correct choice beautiful that ten of cups twice i love it when things get mirrored it really amplifies the energy of success and love and tenderness and kindness and sweetness everything sweet about that relationship we have the four of swords the fire in your belly you've really you're weary you're tired you you you're going to be able to with the ten of cups twice you're going to be able to put down the burden of the Nine of Wands, which is a warrior who's been in battle for way too long. You are going to take a break in the near future. You're going to take time to rest, to recover, to recuperate. You've got that beautiful King of Wands energy really telling you that it, you are, you've already manifested it on the 5D. So let's go around again here and see what else we can find out. Tell us more about the Three of Swords, please. Tell us more.
Well, the five of cups. So five of coins, five of cups. You are done, done, done. Stick a fork in it. Done, turkey. Okay, so you have left that energy behind. Oh, look at the Empress card. You are really leveling up. You're, you're beginning to truly recognize your divine feminine energy. And it is what is bringing you this Ten of Cups as we watch the bird fly. The bird's up high, different perspective, saying, you know, yes, I'm the Empress, and what am I going to do? But it's a beautiful flow of energy through the reading for you. Aries, Aries, Aries. So what about the Death card and the Hanged Man? The Death card, Knight of Wands energy, you're finished. You are finished with the Sagittarius in and out kind of BS energy. You really are just not going to put up with it. The death card is on that Knight of Wands energy, which is player. And the Hermit card, you would rather be alone and you would rather be by yourself. Well, alone and by yourself, right? Okay, a little redundant. Uh, but with that Hanged Man energy, what we're seeing is your perspective is changing. And the Page of Pentacles now is resonating twice. You know exactly on a day-to-day -day level what actions you will take look at that to get your king of pentacles energy i'm actually going to put this by the king of cups it seems fitting so sometimes i go with my intuition so the king of pentacles energy says that you will be attracting a beloved partner who is very grounded very down to earth very taurus that's taurus energy we get the hierophant somebody who is desirous of a significant relationship up to and including marriage but definitely with tremendous values based on their outlook is all about put the work in do the work bring value to the table keep your emotions you know modulated and and well balanced and you getting into this energy to receive look at that you are on the verge of manifestation as i put the cards down the two of coins so when it comes to new love you probably will date a couple of people take your time figure it out make the right choice and again very much action oriented page of pentacles is all about sitting back i mean you're you're taking action but you're also watching the landscape why do we have the beautiful ten of cups here with the the choice that you will have to make is happiness so we have the seven of swords so after a period of dealing with somebody who was very deceptive you are in this beautiful energy now of vanquishing that and there's a part of you that doesn't believe in love there's a little part of you with that seven of swords and ten of cups energy that says that you are you're doubting it somewhat but we have the two of cups, oh, this is why. So the two of cups reversed, what's happened in the past is haunting you a little bit. The three of swords energy. So what it's really telling us, so when we get the two of cups reversed and the three of swords, you're saying, if this person isn't just mine, if they are, you know, pouring their love into somebody else and I don't get it, I'm not going to allow myself to be broken hearted. And when we look at this Seven of Swords energy, you are definitely going to need to avoid uh, this person over here who caused this heartache. So it does look like you have two different people in your energy, and one is definitely a third party player type energy, and you're not, I don't see you accepting it. And I think that that's beautiful, and that's part of the Two of Wands choice. Two of Wands, you're at a crossroads, time to make a choice. Choose happiness or choose the stale old BS that somebody else brought to the table. The Eight of Wands energy is clarifying the King of Wands. Nice, I like the fire sign energy for my Aries friends. The Eight of Wands, make love all night, communicate, airfare, you know, go on vacation, have adventures. You want someone who is as action-oriented as you are, Aries, and that King of Wands is Leo energy. The Tower card, you want to shake things up. You want something with a strong foundation. You are literally taking a rest after a Tower moment, which I think happened over here. You are giving up the battle with somebody who really hurt you 
you are just letting somebody or something go the tower is coming down you may have tried to hold that tower together but you're really in right now even because this is future so right now as you're watching this i feel as though many of you know exactly what this is about many of you know what you will leave behind what you need to recover from we also get judgment there we are karmic you are making judgments about a person who did not treat you well with whom you will not interact again uh, in any kind of a way in which they can really get to you harm you hurt you or whatever so beautiful you are choosing you're literally choosing happiness you're literally choosing somebody who's reliable somebody who really brings a lot to the table somebody who has so much to offer and somebody who is really worthy of your empress energy beautiful aries we're going to pull two more oracles here a tidy house clarity and organization so you will find at this time Venus is in Virgo and you will find that you're going to do a lot of house cleaning while you're in the process of the energy of tidying up your emotional life so a lot of times it's very symbolic we we tidy our house when we're tidying our emotions and it's a beautiful way to work with them and stay grounded deep quiet meditation and stillness you are really the hanged man energy is a blessing for you aries that is your reading i hope you found it helpful it has been a joy and a privilege to be here with you today hope to see you soon bye bye